Hello, Nico2064 here, back in another video, and today I'm going to do my Avengers Endgame Showcase. These are all my custom minifigures. Some of them are just minor updates, but a lot of them are full custom designs. Um, I counted at least 20 figures here, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, now, there are no direct spoilers in this. I haven't seen the movie yet. Um, so if I did put something spoilery in, I didn't even know about it. Um, so yeah, let's get into this. So I didn't make everybody's main suit, but I did make Captain Marvel. And I just used the Spider-Man Homecoming legs, the red utility belt from Skylor from the Lego Ninjago line. Now, I probably wouldn't put this on my own custom, but I'm just showing an option. Now, I added these, uh, arms from the Iron Spider onto the Captain Marvel torso. I personally don't prefer them just because the webbing there, but they're the best option, so that's why I show them. Then uh, the Captain Marvel face, with this side, I don't like the other side, it doesn't really look like Brie Larson, but this side definitely works. And I would use the Series 17 veterinarian hair, but this is the best hair piece I have to uh, show her look. And of course, you could just use one of the orange blasts from the uh, Avengers Compound Battle. So for Thanos, I just took the one from the Ultimate Battle in the Compound, uh, and I added two things. I added the rest of the stones, because I think it's probably more accurate. You know, you just need this whole side. Um, they only include the Power and uh, Time Stone. Uh, and then I added this um, Butter Knife from the 2018 Thanos, because this is more accurate to the weapon he has in the movie. And I think this is the best we can do. Now for Thor, I added these legs from the series uh, 15 Spy, just to give some blue details on black legs. And then I added the Thor torso with some gunmetal gray arms from like Armored Batman or someone. And then I actually used this uh, cape from the King from series 13 or the Queen from series 15. And you're probably wondering why I used this. I just like how it kind of, oh, I don't know, shows off, or like, covers the shoulders, I mean. Uh, just because, I don't know, I really like this design. Uh, I think it's big and elegant. Um, then I used the Thor face, and then the hair from the Ragnarok, or not, I guess the hair isn't from Ragnarok, but from Infinity War and Endgame. And then I kind of, uh, tweaked the Stormbreaker, I just took the axe and the um, hammer parts, and then I just stuck them on a big stick to give them a bigger one. Uh, I like Lego's version in the Infinity War um, line, but I think they could have updated it for Endgame, which might just be his last appearance in the MCU. Now time for one I'm really proud of, Ronin. I used the legs from the uh, Lloyd Ninja from the uh, magazine that I reviewed on my channel. Go to Nico Logs and my playlists um, to see where I got that. But I'm sure it came on other Ninjago figures. But I used Killmonger's torso backwards with some arms from the Penguin. And I really like this. The arms, you could maybe just use one or use um, this arm from the Spy. Uh, but I don't know. I just wanted to get that little um, flashlight on. And I think these work. Uh, but... Especially, I like the torso for when you put this hood from Wild Style. It makes it look like he has a gold shirt underneath, or gold under the hood. And I really like that. And it also kind of matches up with the back muscles. So, I don't know. I really like this combination. Then the head is from the Captain America Civil War um, Hawkeye. Um, but, I don't know. I, I like the look, and it might not be most accurate, but I think it's good enough. Uh, and then I just gave him this hair from the, uh, Series 16 Spy. And I really like how it, uh, kind of has thin sides for his mohawk, or mohawk eye as some people call it. And it kind of looks annoying to some people, but if you wanted to shave those off, it would even look more accurate. So, yeah, I think it, even from the top, just look. It's the most accurate thing. And then I just gave him, a uh, Lloyd's sword, just so you would have it from that. I think a regular katana would work better. And if you wanted to give him his hooded uh, look, you know, with the hood up, I think you could use the uh, comic book Winter Soldier face. 
That was a promo. And then just a regular hood. So yeah, I don't think he's going to die, but I definitely think he's going to have some sad moments. And of course, retire from the MCU. Now for Armored Thanos, the minifigure, I took the legs from the Atlantean guards from Justice League, and I took the torso from Batman from LEGO Dimensions, and then the arms, again, from the Justice League um, Aquaman set. Um, and then the gray hands are just from anyone, really. I'm pretty sure they come on, like, Ant-Man from 2015. But, yeah, I don't know. I like this, and once I put the armor on, you'll see it get covered up more. But, yeah. Then I took this Chima armor and put a few of these on the back. You could display from here, but I don't really like that look. But I just used that so it would look nicer on the back. Here it is. And I like how it just has this kind of triangular, I don't know, shardy, I don't know, glass shards. That's what it reminds me of anyway. Uh, but it definitely looks like Thanos' armor, whatever I'm talking about. <laughs> and then Calcuman or Calculator's head. From the Lego Batman movie series. And it's the best purple head I have. If you cover it here. Kind of looks like Thanos. But that's really all I could do. And then the Atlantean guard head. With gold head in it. Um, just to give uh, the look of his helmet from behind. And it does look a lot like Thanos' helmet from the back. So this is kind of a strange one. But I thought I'd include it anyway. So for Okoye. Which I hope has a bigger role than in the trailers. Um, I used these legs from Miss Scratch and Post in the Apocalypse Berg uniform from uh, the Lego Movie 2 series. And I like the little uh, metal skirt and boots. Uh, and it kind of looks like gold um, there instead of the yellow skin. But yeah, I like that. And then the torso is from Okoye just because it's the one they gave us. So I thought we'd reuse it. And then, of course, the head is from Okoye. Uh, I didn't add anything uh, for an accessory just because I couldn't find my spear. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Craglin for Guardians of the Galaxy, I thought I would include just because the Roos' brothers said he would be in this. But he might not be. I used the legs and the torso from um, Yondu. And I think that's probably fitting because it's the only Ravager suit I actually own. But yeah, I, I don't know. I like it. Um. And then, of course, the head from Star-Lord, and then the hair is just from uh, Star Wars. But if you don't remember him, then just watch Guardians 2. He's the one who ends up with the Finn, and I don't know, maybe he'll be in the movie, maybe he won't, but I hope he is. For Tony Stark, when he's on the Benatar, I chose black legs, Batman torso flipped around with tan arms and hands from Patrick, and then the Tony Stark face from 2018-2019, uh, um, an endgame. Uh, and then this hair, which comes on the Happy Hogan minifigure from Spider-Man Far From Home. And then I included a little Mark 50 helmet, or Mark 86 if you want to think of it that way. But yeah, that's how I built this one, and I actually did a full video on this one. You could go check out in my Avengers Endgame playlist. Going into the casual Avengers, I chose uh, these pants from the Mariachi Man. I like how they're kind of a little um, punk. I don't know. They just look like jeans, but black. And then I took this torso from Jurassic World 1. And then this face, again, from Civil War, which they also used on Captain America. And then this hair, which they used on Captain America. And, um, yeah, I think this works pretty well. Maybe you could switch out the torso because his outfit changes throughout the film. From trailers, anyway. For Carol, I just gave her some blue pants. Nothing um, different, just because I like uh, how they come in a lot of places. And you can actually get them off of Captain Marvel. Uh, and then I also gave her this torso from Magpie. Flipped around, of course. And then with some arms from, like, I don't know. I think they actually came on her. Uh, but we'll just say they're from Flintstones. But I also like how it has that red belt. Um, cause it kind of looks like, uh, from the waist down, she doesn't have her costume off. So, I don't know, looks like, uh, kind of half on, half off the costume. Uh, if you don't know, I mean this costume. Um, but yeah, the face, I actually chose this one from the comic book Captain Marvel. 
Because in Endgame, she actually has a lot of makeup. Uh, in her movie, she didn't have as much. I don't care for her as much in this movie, but I, it's more accurate. And then, of course, the same hair piece I used for my updated Captain Marvel uh, from Agent 13. But, again, I think you could use the vet hair. For Bruce Banner, I gave him some gray legs from Credence Bare Bones in the Harry Potter series. Then this torso from Lego City. Just because uh, I think uh, it works pretty well. And you can't really tell that it has red lines. Uh, just because they're so faded. On my version, at least. And the face from Bruce Banner. And then the hair from Doctor Strange. And I think that works out to uh, bring together a pretty good minifigure. Natasha Romanoff has some jeans from the Series 2 pop star. Um, and I don't know. They look old because they are old printing. But... I don't know. I like it. It's kind of lighter, and I think it goes with the darker choices on this minifigure. And then I took Nia's uh, torso backwards from Lego Ninjago. And then, uh, you know, I like it just because it looks like a jacket, but it also kind of looks like it maybe has like a strap over it. But then I just took her face from Endgame, and then this hair, uh, which represents the kind when she has the blonde on the very tips, you know, like it's grown out. Um, but I could not put that on, of course, just because they don't do a mold hair like that. But, yeah, that's what I'm going for. But, of course, you could switch out the hair for any kind of hairstyle, because she does have so many. One of my personal favorite customs in this showcase, um, Rhodey. I gave him some legs from Stone Coal, just to re uh, represent his robot pants. Uh, and I do like those, just because of all the metal. And, I don't know, the belt definitely looks like it's connected moving. I don't know. I really like it. Uh, then the torso is from Lego City. This is what he wore in the clip released a few weeks ago, and that is what I based this off. I used the 2018-2019 um, um, War Machine face just for the sake of um, accessibility, just because this also came in the Brittober pack, but it is coming in the Hulkbuster set, or the, I guess, War Machine Buster set. And I think most people will get that set, so I think it's probably safe to say you might have this. Um, and, of course, the hair, I had to go and ruin it, but I had to use this hair, which is from uh, Percival Graves, just because he has thin hair like this, and I wanted to add some gray. Um, and also, I think he might die, honestly. I don't know if he will die, but I think he has a good chance. For Thor, I just used some uh, sand blue legs for some kind of more pale jeans. And then I took this torso from Steve Trevor. And I don't know, I like it because he does have kind of a, a green jacket, but it's not, it's a very faded green. Um, and it does have all the layers underneath, which I don't like, but there's no better option. Then the face, uh, again, from Thor, Ragnarok or whatever. And this hair, just from Infinity War or Endgame. And you guys did not like what I used for his little uh, piece of bread. So I just gave him a donut, whatever. He's getting less and less healthy. And then, of course, I just reused uh, my Stormbreaker design. So, yeah. Uh, I don't have a clue if Thor will die. Uh, I don't see them doing it, but I could definitely understand if they did. Um, but I hope he doesn't. Scott Lang, my favorite character of the movie, uh, has these legs from the Sheriff, not a robot, from the Lego Movie 1. I like how they kind of have a belt there. And uh, on the minifigure, it was supposed to be a, a cape, or I guess more of a coat, um, going down. And that's why it has these. But I think it actually looks like just, I don't know, um, lines, just tightness on it. So I think it works for regular minifigures. This torso is from The Simpsons with some dark blue arms and tan hands. Um, and I like how it kind of looks like just a, a jacket and a regular t-shirt. Um, then the face I just, again, used from the War Machine Buster. Not for accuracy, just because um, it's easier to get. And a lot of people have it. Again, same hair. It also comes in that set. And I think you could probably just give him, like, an ant as an accessory. I don't know how much he'll use ants in this movie, but, yeah. Ants. Ants! So I was going to show my custom casual Tony Stark, 
But that one has a minor, minor spoiler-ish kind of thing in it. So I thought I'd make Kevin Feige. Uh, if you don't know who Kevin Feige is, he is the leader, um, I guess, um, owner of Marvel Studios. I don't know why, but I made him. Black Legs, the torso from the Red Hood from the Batman series. Uh, and then this face from Newt's Commander, this hat from the Lego Movie 1, and then uh, just an Oscar, because Black Panther won an Oscar last year. So yeah, um, spoilers, kind of. Uh, these are just kind of leaked set photo images, minifigures, you know, um, tweets or whatever. But yeah, they're not big spoilers, you know, because I haven't seen the film. But yeah, let's get into this. You have been warned. So for Tony Stark, I gave him this, um, which are these legs, um, which are from Lego Creator, um, which, I don't know, actually, I think, I want to say Lego Creator, but I'm pretty sure someone said these are from the Flying Flusher from the Lego movie. So comment below. Uh, I know I'm being stupid the second time in a row, but yeah. Then, of course, the torso I used in my last video, but I did add onto this gamer torso a little um, watch from the Series 16 Spy to represent those time watches or Infinity Stone holders or whatever they are, whatever they turn out to be um, when I see the movie in a few hours. But yeah, I just added that. And then a wild style um, hood piece just to give this um, torso a little flair. I like how it just kind of adds on. And then the Tony Stark head from the 2000s, uh, the earliest days of LEGO Marvel superheroes. And then this hair, which I just took off of the um, uh, Tony Stark from uh, the new Hall of Armor set. So yeah, I didn't give him an accessory because that's kind of supposed to be an accessory. But yeah, I hope that wasn't a big spoiler. I'll find out myself. You guys who are probably not as big a fan um, of Iron Man like I am. I'm not a big fan either. Uh, probably don't like how many of these I put in. But yeah. I used these legs from the Kendo uh, Fighter from Series 15. Just for some little knee pads. Uh, then this torso from Harry Potter. Um, for the jacket look. And then I added this arm from Barbara Gordon. I only added the right arm. Just because, I don't know, I didn't want to. Uh, but, yeah. Then, the face, again, from uh, Endgame or Infinity War, Tony Stark, yeah, yeah. Then, uh, this hair from the series uh, 16, sorry. Uh, not I was going to say skater, but it's the hiker hair. And it, a lot of you guys don't like how when I use this. But, I just have to, there's not a darker gray hair spiky like this. Um, then I couldn't find a printed arm that had the band on it, so I just gave him one of these tiles uh, for that. This might even be more accurate, but like I said, I'm kind of getting sick of these Tony Stark minifigures. I keep making them over and over again, but yeah. Um, if he turns out it, if it turns out that he dies, I'll, I'll have quite a tribute. I didn't even know I did. So for Lila Barton, I gave her these mid-legs in black. We are getting a lot of mid-legs in different colors in the future. Um, this, I think, summer, maybe? Um, I want to say fall, but I'm pretty sure it's summer for Harry Potter. But this is just what we have at the moment. And then I used this wolf hair, or wolf hair, wolf torso. Uh, and you could use the actual one, but I just want to get this kind of, um, you know, plaid. Or not plaid. Why do I keep... Wait, is it plaid? I, my brain is losing it. Uh, this video is too long. But I like the art printing. Uh, and of course, you can see I added one tan hand and one dark brown hand. Just for her holding the bow. And then I used Hermione's face from the Wave 1 Harry Potter sets. Because I like it. It's little, young. Kind of looks almost a little like Hawkeye. But in a little girl form. Um, and then this hair... From the Series 10 Librarian. And then, of course, just a bow and arrow. I used this brown one uh, just to make it look old-fashioned and kind of like a family bow. But yeah, I do think she'll fade away in the beginning, but come back at the end. Game. 
or if they go back in time. Now, my final minifigure is the most spoilery, so if you wanted to click off earlier, then I recommend uh, clicking off now. Pepper Pots in the Rescue Armor. I used these legs from the Man of Steel sets, um, and then this torso from Aisha. I like the uh, combination to make a Rescue Armor, but I didn't use the helmet like you would expect. I just used this face from Queenie Goldstein. I used the Pepper Pots face. I don't have it, but use one. And then I used this hair from Jurassic Park. I like it way more than her hair that came in Iron Man 3. And I think it's a lot more accurate to what she has in Endgame and Infinity War. Well, maybe not Endgame. So that's it for my Avengers Endgame Showcase. I am seeing the uh, actual movie in about an hour. Uh, if this uploads sometime tomorrow, well, I'm recording this on Thursday, but, yeah, I saw it last night, for those in the future, but, yeah, I'll probably do some spoiler videos soon, after I see the movie, of course, uh, because I'm sure there's probably something hiding, that's hiding in the movie, but, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, I know it's a lot of figures, but I just had to, ooh, just decapitate, just decapitate and see, um, but, yeah, my final guess for who's gonna die is Thanos. Honestly, I mean, I know that sounds probably, like, you can't choose, so you just gotta choose the villain, but, I don't know. I didn't think he was gonna die, but I think he might. I just, I don't know. In the TV spots now, he's, like, threatening them to burn down the planet or whatever. I don't know, I hope they don't wreck Thanos. Um, but, I don't know think it's probably gonna be the best movie ever so yeah nico 2064 signing off